cool. So <clears throat> we start with the update <clears throat> from the interchain team. <clears throat> Sorry, um, Susanna is uh, not here today, so we will jump <coughs> right into the engineering updates. Um, for V7, we migrate to Comet VFT. Uh, so yeah, we should be able to tag the, the next uh, release candidate of V7, RC1. Um, hopefully, yeah, tomorrow or yeah, in one or two days. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we should be able, we should be ready to release the, the final V7, pending on, on when the SDK releases the final uh, 047. Um, yeah, everything else from our side is done now. So, yeah, um, hopefully we can tag the final release uh, soon. Um, yeah, so regarding V7, we, we had one ah, question. Ni, ni siquiera... No, sorry. Uh, regarding V7, we had one question for the Hermes team, and that was uh, yeah about the, the support for multi-version multi, multi -version support for Comet VFT, um, to see how that's going. Uh, maybe uh, Luca... Yeah, so we, we just merged earlier the PR2 for the multi-version support. Okay. So it should be in the latest master. Okay, cool, great. So then we could uh, we could do some testing um, with two chains and see a bit. Um... Yes, uh, I, I can test. So with the IBC Go V7, it, it has the comment, right? Yeah, so if you pick up, um, um, Maybe maybe let me ping you as soon as we merge because we just need to merge the the backport of the um, of the PR that migrated to Comet BFT. Um, as soon as we we merge that backport into the release branch, I can ping you and you can then pick up um, the CMD from that from that branch and and use it. Yeah. Okay, seems good. All right. Um, cool. Great. Then then that would be great. Uh, thank you, Luca. Yeah. And and then um, do you have an estimate of when you will release Hermes with uh, with this? Uh, no, sorry, I don't have any estimate for the. It will be the next version, but I I need to check when we're going to release this. All right, okay, no problem. All right, so that's uh, V seven. Um, then uh, for V seven point one, uh, we have the PR opened uh, to merge the feature branch uh, of uh, local host client. Um, yeah, the features should be also complete now. Uh, we also have now here a couple, couple of questions for the um, Golang uh, Relayer team. Yeah, first one is a bit on, about the update on the support for the feature. Um, how is that uh, going? Yes, we didn't include that in our current sprint, um, but given my current workload, I may get to this end of this week. If not, beginning of next week, we'll start to test that. Um, and then as far as the other client types added to the app module basic, we do have an issue open for that. I can get that done Okay, like today. That's relatively easy. All right, great. Um, okay, cool. Uh, if, if you if you Once you have that done, uh, maybe Damien, do we need to get um, a new Docker image uh, for our end-to-end -end tests uh, then? Um, I think we'll just need to build one off whatever. Well, we'll probably need a release version of the Corridor. Okay, so- Okay, cool. I think we were getting ready to, to cut an RC of 2.3 anyway with all of these recent changes and then the um, upgrade to like the release candidates of IBC Go V7 and the SDK uh, 047. Nice. Cool. All right. Um, um, for the for local host, um, you will do some uh, also some testing with um, the feature branch. Yes. Can you actually drop a link to that in here? Oh, it's linked in the yeah. It's linked here. here. Cool. Yeah. This is the PR, and you can see the the feature branch uh, there. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Yep. That should be everything I need. Thank you. Cool. Great. Thank you. Then uh, the next item about localhost is, um, yeah, if we could maybe start in coordinating some integration with, um, together with Agoric to maybe start doing some testing as well on their end. Um, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 
yeah, I should be able to uh, 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 have some time on that in in that same time frame, uh, end of this week or or early next. All right, cool. Um, so yeah, here here is the link to the PR with the feature branch. You could you could build a SIMD, um, or yeah, you can obviously um, import IBC Go in your chain. Um, and if um, if the Golang relayer is ready, then you could also start testing. Okay, I'll I'll coordinate with Justin on on the uh, uh, relayer, and we'll try to get that all set up. Okay, cool. Um, and please reach out, reach to us also if you have any other questions or you mm -hmm. need help. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thanks. All right. So that would be seven point one. Then um, support for Western clients most likely then would be released in seven point one uh, after yeah upstreaming the the feature from the strange uh, repo. Um, yeah, seven point one will probably be released quite uh, soon after v seven. Um, so not to delay. We'll add some clients uh, in a later release. And and then yeah, once we uh, wrap up all these things for seven and seven point one, uh, we will start picking up um, channel agreeability again. All right, so that's a bit the update from engineering. Any any questions or any comments? Maybe also just we'll, we'll be taking over the capability module from the SDK. True. Yeah. Good. Good. Uh, good point. Yeah. Um, indeed. Um, Marco opened a PR um, to move the capability module. From the SDK to IBC Go, so we will also be taking that. And we we did, we were discussing the other day probably to move it to a separate repo. So um, instead of having it in IBC Go, maybe we will move it to a separate repo. But yeah. Anything else? When when will that be released? Like... Um, for the capability module. <clears throat> Because that would be API breaking, right? Um, Probably V8 for us and SDK. Yeah. Oh, so you guys are including it in the monolith or like it's separate? Sorry. Oh. It, isn't it its own come on? Yeah, we're considering putting it in a separate repo as well. But we haven't moved on it yet. Uh, please please no. Uh, yeah, uh, I second that. Um, but also, uh, why do you have to wait for V8 to release a separate code one? Um, I, mean, I guess we don't. I mean, yeah, it would just be good to like, um, I, for at least for us, it'd be good to like see if you guys can release like V1 or whatever, and then uh, and then we can already start like telling people to migrate because um, it shouldn't be state breaking or anything. Um, like the protocols. Are the same from my understanding. Okay. 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 Then uh, we'll try to release that earlier. Um, and it, it would not be also any API breaking for for IBC Go, right? Uh, from IBC Go. No. Uh, well, I don't know if you guys depend on capabilities module within other modules, but from my understanding, capabilities is like it's a like app level thing. It's not like a module level thing. But I, also, mm -hmm. I don't know why I guess you go use it. Okay. I think it might be API breaking for us, which is why like, I don't think we are planning to wait to release a V1 of capability module until V8. It's just when we would be able to actually integrate it into IPC Go. Um, because I'm, if, I'm fairly sure it would be API breaking since we use it within the 05 port code to route to IBC applications. Okay, yeah. And and um, Marco and, and Jack, you, you guys uh, seem to be against the idea of having it in a separate repository. Uh, any any reason? Yeah. Yeah, there's many reasons. You know, we've got another call after this where we can dig into the repo management issues in some detail. 
but uh, the dependency problem with Go right now is incredibly challenging, and it's a huge barrier to entry for outside teams. You know, we work on things only outside the IBC Go repo because we don't have any push access to the IBC Go repo itself, and this causes a tremendous amount of pain and lost developer time. Um, it's one of the key asks from the community is to push more of this stuff into the core IBC Go repo. So compounding the problem by breaking it into even more repos is uh, making the issue worse. All right. Well, on, on my point of view, it's just kind of like, um, it's kind of harder to maintain when it's like in separate repos because it's like, it's easier to forget that like, let's say you release V8 with like 048 of SDK, and then like we're ready to release then kind of we just forgot about capabilities um potentially like it just it's also just kind of like it just hit maintenance mode and just like if anything happens it's there um server server repo just means like it's more searching for the user to just like find where it lives and what the code does um i think like potentially in the future like i mean it's like if you look at the sdk like we deprecated the params module but like moving the params module outside the sdk is not really needed, like it just code that just sits there um, and doesn't cause anyone issues. Um, I, I don't know if capabilities is causing your team issues to live in the IBC Go repo, um, but for us, like Rams module and capabilities module hasn't caused any issues for us for years living in the SDK. And just more so like capabilities is only used by IBC Go. Um, so it makes sense to like move it to your team. Okay, cool. We appreciate the feedback. We didn't really have too strong opinions of going one way or the other. So it's nice to hear what people think. Um, the only kind of perspective we are coming from is that if we're taking over capabilities, it's more from maintenance mode. We don't really have any um, plans to improve it in any way. We would actually like to remove our dependency from the capability module eventually. Um, so that's kind of yeah. the direction we are going with if if that occurred and someone actually did want to move forward with it, it would almost make sense for it to be in a separate repo in that case. Yeah, I think like, um, I mean, this is, uh, I think I proposed like uh, using vanity URLs for you guys. So it's like, let's say if you were to move, let's say you keep capabilities in IBC Go repo just for now, and then in the future, if you deprecate it, like, or whatever, and you move it to another repo, then at least the import URL won't change on users. Um, and that way it's like, it's kind of behind the like facade and there's no like great API breakage for users in that scenario. That makes sense. Thanks. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, then. On the protocol side, yeah, um, Aditya spent some time together with us, Anka reviewing ICS 33, and they had discussions with the Polymer team. Um, and Polymer is now busy. Yeah, it's gonna update the spec um, to reflect the feedback. Um, yeah, so that's a bit um, what's been going on on the protocol side a bit. Um, okay, then if we move to the update from Relayer teams, um, the from Hermes first, then uh, Luca. Yeah. So as I said before, we merged earlier the multi-version support in Hermes. Uh, other than that, we added the new configuration that we're going to experiment with in order to filter incentivized packets uh, using the receive key. And we're starting to try to relay with the new architecture uh, locally. Okay, so so that's the Hermes V2 architecture. Yes. Okay, so so how's that work going? Um, it's still in early stages. Uh, we we're able to like do some very very basic relaying. So okay. it's it's going well, but uh, well, uh, we still need to test a lot more. Okay, cool. All right, thanks, Luca. Yeah, <clears throat> and then from the relay team. Justin. Yes, so we recently removed Lens as a dependency in the relayer given the recent changes in the SDK and the current roadmap. Um, so this kind of just removes some overhead and makes development 
cycle is a little bit easier on everybody. Um, aside from that, we have upgraded a lot of dependencies. We're on the release candidate of IBC Go v7 and the SDK 047. Um, aside from that, we've got a few bug fixes, um, nothing that really necessarily was affecting performance. Um, and then I think the big one is that we have compacted the ability to like flush um, packets and acknowledgements into one command and just kind of narrow down the API. Um, so I think that's the big ones. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And then, like I said, I think we're getting ready to cut uh, RC for 2.3. Okay, cool. Great, thanks. <clears throat> All right. Um, then on other at least or topics, uh, I added here one maybe to get an update also on the support for Western clients. Uh, how those things are going there? I think Steve is in the call. Maybe Steve. Yeah, I can give an update on that. Um, so right now we're we're continuing to build out the the unit testing. Um, Acquiring data for that unit testing is is difficult, so um, it's taking a little longer than expected. Um, then we'll be continuing to build out the end-to-end -end testing. Um, a lot of that unit testing data is being pulled from from the end-to-end -end testing. Okay. Um, but what else? Uh, otherwise, there's there's two other main main tasks left within the Wasm like client module. One is to re-add the status method. Um, it wasn't part of the, the grandpa contract. And so it was removed at one point. Uh, we need to pull it back in. It's a pretty small task. Um, then the then the other item is to revisit the Wasm VM parameters, um, especially around gas con consumption. Uh, what's there was um, has, has been there for a while. It was kind of a first stab at, at uh, something that works and we need to take a closer look at what we want to release into production with. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, yeah. Um, all right, then, yeah, if, if there's also, also anything we can help with here, yeah, we will, we will stay in touch, yeah. Okay, thanks. Cool. Um, anything, any other topics that anybody would like to discuss today? We have like eight minutes because today we have to finish a bit early. Um, I, I, I would like to mirror other thoughts on versioning and inclusion. Um, so, all I can really say is that working with Composable for just a couple of weeks, um, and also a little bit with Quasar, uh, it was really apparent to me that there was a tremendous maintenance burden that was caused by, I, I'm not necessarily trying to say, oh, the, you know, the IVC Go team is, is causing this. I want to talk about the structure, okay? modules or pieces of code that need to be versioned with IBC should likely be in IBC. And the basic reason for this is you're like, we, we're, we're increasing the chances for making bugs. And it also, in my opinion, we're, we're dramatically increasing the workload of building IBC compatible modules. And I, wa I wanted to get this out. Um, I do think it's really important. And I just want to say that I was not aware of Strange Love's work. Um, and I think that there was a reason for that. I think it's because it's not in IBC. Mm -hmm. my, my hot take on a uh... 
I, I think modules should not be versioned with IBC Go, but I think in the current design of the repository, they need to be. So I think there is a future where it's like modules should not need to depend on what is defined as IBC Go. I just think like right now it needs to be um, because I mean, it's the same problem with SDK. So. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's so totally fair hot take. <laughs> from, 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 from my perspective, um, you know, we do a lot of core protocol work and none of it has any visibility. In order for it to get adopted, we have to go get on individual teams, release cycles, sell them on each individual feature. And the amount of overhead there is not to mention the code overhead of working in separate repos and the pain that our developers have to go through to develop that way. It is uh, a significant slowdown on our efforts to expand and grow IBC. I, I would like to mirror that. Um, I, I actually, I, I wanted to tell everybody on the call that I saw this in action. Uh, and so I really want to affirm Jack's sentiment here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. When you, mentioned, when you say that you saw it in action, um, like, like, can you maybe explain to us like what, what, what were the pain points you saw? Um... Yeah, absolutely, man. I'd, I'd be really happy to. Um, so, you know, at Notional, we work on lots of chains and pretty much, well, absolutely pride ourselves on doing a quality job. And part of that is like being aware of what is around in IBC. And like to my really, really big surprise, I, I was not aware of the body of Strange Love's work. And I think that really the, the reason for that is, is that we chose a model. Um, I, and I, you know, I, I've read the inclusion docs and stuff like the, the what is it, request for maintainership documentation. And I, I actually believe that that model is what caused that. So the pain points, um, teams are unsure uh, what and when uh, is going to enter IBC Go. And teams are also unsure about maintenance of individual pieces of code. And when we're dealing with stuff like an unreleased Cosmos SDK, and let's say like the release of Comet, um, this is, it, it, it really compounded uh, for myself, even just, um, you know, beginning uh, some work on Composable. It was really clear that there, there, like, I would say that there's a structural issue and that probably for in, inclusion in IBC Go, it probably looks like the Strange Love Async ICQ. Uh, reason I'm choosing that ICQ, by the way, is it, it follows the more traditional IBC path. Um, the other one, we could include it, but it's less traditional, let's say. Um, packet forward middleware, and I'll, I'll tell you guys exactly why. PFM is becoming a standard, and like that's a good thing. It's solving a really tough traditional problem with ICS20, the, you know, the fungibility with the IBC DNAMs. And finally, uh, there is the Wasm client, which is... Again, it, my concern with that one is that I really wasn't aware of it. And like, it, okay, if we look at the Cosmos SDK, when I want to see release plus one, I know that it's always in that branch. Like if, if we look at the SDK right now, SDK 47, it hasn't been released, but there's a branch release 0.47.x, right? And I can reference that, but with IBC, that's not really happening, unfortunately. I, I thought it was. Am I wrong? Or... Uh, what's that, Marco? 
I, I thought they also had really strange. Um, uh, yeah, we do. They seem to operate by different standards. Well, I, I think uh, um, so. So I think it would make sense to like. Uh, I don't know if you've written a document on like your concerns, and then maybe we can like maybe be able to like share it with the team. But um, I, I like maybe you bring up like points that like the visibility to such a branch is not as prevalent than the SDK. Um, I'm not really sure what we are doing differently, but I, th I think it would make sense to like maybe write a document and share it with the team. Um, and then like, I think that'd like help in like formulating uh, fully like uh, your take and your opinion. And that'd be, that'd create a good uh, environment for like that receipt team to also be able to respond, not kind of like be put up in the last minute to try and respond to uh, some concerns. Totally, man. Yeah, I, I'll, yeah. Uh, I'll I'll shoot over like a Twitter DM to you, okay? Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, please, please include like um, Carlos, Charlie, and, and the team. Um, they, like, Absolutely. I, yeah. yeah, or, or share, okay. share that document to us via Slack or something. And, and we will be glad to discuss and yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll make a Google Doc uh, and I'll share that like right after this call, okay? Great, thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's uh, 30. Uh, um, yeah, we have to stop here uh, because we have some of us, we have to, have to go to another call. Uh, yeah, thanks for the feedback, uh, Jacob. Um, anything else last minute? Like, really, anything important? Uh, last minute chill. If you want to come and uh, uh, listen to the off working group where we're talking about the count abstraction and potentially bank transfer abstraction. Um, it's the next call, 5.30 to 6.30. I think, Jim, you're on the invite, but if you want to join, just let me know. This is just a last minute show. Yes, please. <laughs> Justin, you might like that too. All right. Thanks, uh, Marco. Okay. Yeah. Then, uh, you all. Uh, thanks, everyone, for joining and see you in two weeks. Thank, Thank you. Bye-bye. Thanks. Bye. Thank you. Bye.